My name is Enma Saiz. I'm a visual artist here working in Miami. The inspiration for the piece, it's called Left Out to Dry. It's to celebrate the hard work that immigrants do in this country and the challenges that they're facing with portation and everything. And so I wanted to create this sculpture to celebrate their hard work. You know, we do work with a lot of artists uh, throughout the years at this point. The digital tools have really woven their way into, I think, the, the modern artist's toolbox. And it's just, I think, a little lesser known and, and sometimes can feel a little intimidating as if like the technology is taking the creativity away. And in, in no way is that happening. You know, it's absolutely, it's bolstering it. It's helping to take that creative vision and, and bring it to the world at, at large. I think one of the coolest things about 3D printing technology is that we're able to utilize the same tools that we use to make aerospace parts to work on just about any project. Um, we literally grab the same type of 3D scanners that we use to scan parts at like super high precision and use, utilize that to digitize the artwork. It was amazing to see the progress. There's, there's one image where the fingers are being 3D printed and so you just have at the ends of the fingers of the gloves facing up. It's so cool. Oh, I was super excited. It really, it, it's exactly what I wanted. And we put it on a stainless steel because it's kind of like a countertop that you might clean with Playtex gloves. So I think it's it's perfect for, for my idea and my application. Well, one of the things I hope that, that a project like this can do is to help other artists see what a new tool like 3D scanning or 3D printing can unlock in their existing set of tools, right? Think of it as it's another brush, it's a new type of clay, it's just another medium to express your creativity. I think, you know, sometimes new things can be a little scary, but they're also the opportunity to really break the edges of the medium.